Hi, this is Paul from webjunk.com, and today we're talking about using Google Apps emails for your email at your domain name. A lot of you are using free email accounts at Yahoo, Hotmail, and so on. And it just does not look professional if you're a business or some sort of professional organization to be using a free email account. And it is free if you don't need all the options. And uh, it is much better and much more feature-rich for what you can do. So in this case, we have the Lords of Cool. And what we are is their domain name is lordsofcool.com. So what we're going to want to do is set up email at that domain instead of at AOL or Yahoo. First, since you're using Google Apps and their email system, you need to go to the domain name you see on the top at google.com and all the rest of it. And you want to go to the Get Started link. And this is to sign up and enter your organization. So you'll see, you want to do the administrator, not a member. So we're going to enter. And typing does count. If you spell it wrong, it will not work. We don't need a www or anything else. It's just the domain name. So I'm going to fill out the rest of the form and be right back. Okay, once we've created the account, what we're going to want to do is verify that you own the domain. They're not going to just take your word for it through a couple of forms. So there are basically three ways to do this. Uh, and it tells you about accessing the DNS settings at your domains. Okay. You need to modify the HTML uh, or upload a file. And we're going to actually do the upload of the file. So we click Continue. It's going to ask you to log in. Now that we're logged in, you can see it says not verified. So uh, you can do a DNS record. You can add a meta tag to the site's home page. Uh, that's not always easiest, especially if you're using code or PHP or ASP or using a application like WordPress or Joomla uh, in order to do your web pages. So the recommended way is to upload an HTML file. And then you will see that it gives you a file to download. So what we're going to do is download it, the file, and save it to our local drive. We're going to upload it to the root, the web accessible root of the domain. And then you're going to click on this link which will verify that that file is actually there. And if you were able to put it on the website, you must own the domain. So let's do that now. Now that we have that file uploaded, we are going to click on the link, and you can see that it w it's opened. What it just did was just open that exact file, and you see the Google verification code. Now, now you're done. So we click verify, and Google itself will verify the file. What you're going to want to do is change your MX record. So what we're going to do is go into here, and if you notice, under this section, and this is just one type of hosting here, it says modify MX entry. So you can see right now it's pointing to itself. We're going to change the MX record. So what we're going to do is change it right here. We're going to change it to Google's now you can see where the mail is pointed to. Mail.google.com slash A for apps slash lordsofcool.com
And you can see since we're already logged in, there we are. We have a email. Now as a test, now as a test, I just sent an email and you can see your first real email. And there it is. Address to bobbyc at lordsofcool.com. And that's really all there is to setting up email under Google Apps. Normally, it should take about 10 minutes, uh, and you'll be all set. And then you don't need to use a free email account. Now, additionally, there's a lot of features, and I'll cover that in another email for some of the features that you may want to use. Thank you.